Good evening. Welcome to Thursday's Midlands Today from the BBC. Tonight, jailed for a total of 124 years, the gang who shot at the police during last August's riots. Sentencing the six men today, Judge William Davis described the potential consequences of the police helicopter being brought down by gunfire as catastrophic. He went on to say it's very difficult to conceive a case of this type more serious than this one. Tonight, the police said it was pure luck that prevented multiple murders as the gang turned their guns on police lines. Our correspondent, Peter Wilson, was in court. Hooded and masked up like a gang of outlaws. It was a shootout, but the police weren't returning fire. They'd been responding to reports of looting and arson at the Barton's Arms near Aston. Last August, Birmingham was descending into chaos. Some 40 youths set out to take on West Midlands police, and they were armed and dangerous. Yes, the pub was ransacked and set on fire with no thought given for the lives of the four people sleeping upstairs. But the motive wasn't to steal, it was simply to ambush the police. They did lure our officers into a trap, that's what they set out to do, and that's what they did do. And when the officers got there, they shot at them with handguns with at least four weapons. They shot uh, up to a dozen shots at the officers and at the fourth helicopter. Six men aged from 17 to 27 were sentenced today. Tyrone Laidley, 20 years old, and from Neitchell's fired on the police helicopter. He was jailed for 23 years. The highest sentence went to Nicholas Francis from Great Bar, a man linked to the notorious Johnson crew and a gunman. He was jailed for 30 years. The youngest was 17-year-old Amaral Rahman. Just 16 last year, he got 12 years. If you go onto the streets of the West Midlands with a gun, if you go onto the streets of the West Midlands with someone who's got a gun and you know that gun is to be used in the manner that they wanted to use these weapons outside the Barton's arms, then you can expect to be tracked down and if you get convicted, you can expect to go to prison for a very, very long time. One of the most disturbing and blatant acts was the shots fired at the police helicopter. I met up with Derek Campbell. He knows some of those involved. He spends much of his life trying to help youngsters escape from the trap of gang culture. It was unprecedented because they were quite happy to bring a helicopter down and if that had gone down, we have no idea that the sort of destruction that that would have brought. But it was also unprecedented because the community were determined to support the police to bring the, these perpetrators to the courts. As those long sentences were handed out, one man jumped to his feet, shouting, they're just kids, and he pointed his fingers at the police, the jury and the members of the press and said, you're all in it together. Today was a good day for the police and a harsh lesson for a group of young men who thought that they were in control of the streets. Peter Wilson, BBC Midlands Today at West Midlands Police Headquarters. Well, we're joined now by Assistant Chief Constable Gareth Can of West Midlands Police. Thanks for joining us this evening, Mr Can. How close do you think your officers were to being killed on that night? Well, very close indeed, I'm, I'm afraid to say. It's a matter of pure luck as we know that they weren't killed, but they came very close indeed. Uh, these people turned their gunfire on them deliberately and in quite a sustained way. And from the trajectories that we've worked out from where bullets did strike buildings, etc., we've probably worked out that it is genuinely within, within inches of uh, being struck by those bullets and potentially losing their lives. I mean, these sentences are very severe, despite the fact that no one's actually killed. But it, it, they do send out a message, don't they? Well, the fact that no one's killed doesn't undermine the seriousness of the crime. That was just pure luck. Nothing more than that, that nobody was killed. Um, and it does undermine, uh, under, does underline the seriousness of the, of the offences. Um, uh, the judge himself said that these are, are, are unique crimes, unprecedented. Any crime uh, like this is serious, but this is um, of, a, of a scale altogether different to anything we've experienced before. Um, and the sentences reflect that. I think they reflect the punishment that's required in such cases uh, and also send out a message of great deterrence. And that's very important as well. I think the community who have helped us throughout the inquiry can be um, well, I'm just as pleased yeah, as anyone. I was going to come to that, actually. All the men were masked. I was going to say, how did you manage to track them down? Well, they, they were masked, and there's a, quite a lot of CCTV footage, and it doesn't always give people the anonymity that they would hope it does. Um, having said that, um, we've got a range of investigative techniques that we can use, and we did, um, but, it, but it is the community that really uh, helps here. The community have supported us fantastically um, since August and during this inquiry. We're very grateful to them for that, and we hope that they feel there's been some sense of justice as well. Uh, and at the time, you were criticised for being too slow to react. Do you feel uh, this film that we've now seen, uh, these particular incidents, do you feel that 
sort of um, explains why you were so cautious. Well, we were in a unique situation. It was an unprecedented set of, uh, of incidents we were dealing with across the West Midlands at that time. Um, and, and I think that the, the bravery of the officers is really, really quite important. It's not the first time officers have been shot at uh, in this city during disorder. It happened in October 2005. And so I suppose however brave the officers are, and they were very brave, it, it is always going to be at the back of their mind. I think that just underlines um, the, the professionalism of their actions and uh, very proud of what they did. Gareth Khan, thanks very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for joining us this evening here.